There we go. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Every time I keep trying to do this video, something keeps going wrong. I've been running out of battery, or I'll mess up, or something dumb. All right, <laughs> let's do it this time. All right, so this is Jamie Cullum. Um, so they say, awesome song, super simple to play on the piano. Um, not really piano-driven song, just kind of a lot of chords. Um, I'd say it's a drum-driven, percussion-driven song. It's like, you know, I love the drums in the song. You know, I love it. Anyways. <clears throat> For the intro, uh, the song's an A-flat. Um, you got 13s all day long throughout the song. Uh, if you don't know what a 13 is, whatever, whatever, uh, whatever key you're in, it's the 7th and the 6th note and the 3rd note. Well, it's really just the 7th and the 6th. That's all that matters. And you can do any arrangement of those you want. Um, most... I like to play them. Like if you're in C, it'd be a you know C, and then you'd have a, a B flat, an E, and an A. You know what I mean? Uh, you can have get, a lot of times the 13 will add the nine. It's like understood, I guess. Um, but sometimes you don't have to play the nine if you don't want. Just kind of preference. In this song, the intro, um, I don't I don't hear a nine. You can add it if you want, anyways. But it's an A flat, so you have the seven, the three, and the six. That's awful. Awesome. So let's see. You start in F sharp, actually. Actually, I haven't got that apart, have we? No, it's that part, right? So you got F sharp, G, A flat, and you got B flat, B, and C, and then ends on the A flat. D flat and a D, and an F sharp, and then B, A flat. And you got the 13s and the B. The C, C sharp. I like kind of like roll around on it, and then end on the F sharp, which is the uh, seventh. When you're in the A, and you actually start on the F sharp when you're done with it. Or, or so then you go back to the A flat. During the song, the verses, he is playing that over and over again. Just a. Actually, he's kind of doing some runs. Um, I have a good ear, but I can't really hear a lot of the runs. I mean, there's like lots of music going on. Great song, but um, I don't know. I have a hard time hearing the runs. Like, <laughs> false. I can hear the runs. I have a hard time hearing the notes in the runs, and I would just be completely guessing. And at that point, I mean, you might as well just improv. Um, you know, just pick something in A flat. Do you know? Do that. You know, do that. But like, I don't know. Make it up like. I don't know. Be like. Kind of cool. I don't know. Anyways, um, he does a lot of flat five. I know in the runs. It does a lot of random like scales. Like, I mean, a lot of his songs. He'll be like, you know, in uh, in what a difference a day made. He'll he's like playing the song. Things in things in F, and he's like, and he just like nails an E in there with an F in the left hand. Like that's epic. Like, I don't know. He does like I don't know some like weird stuff. So anyways, I mean, you could like even throw that in there. It'd be like a G, like. Nah, that's kind of, that's a little bit more. That'd be if you're in like a slower and you're in like a major 7. But we're in like 13, so he's having, alright, well, you could do that if you want, but. Anyways, <clears throat> he does some runs throughout the verses over the, you know, the A flat, and then again the D flat, so it's just a 1 4. And then he goes to an E, um, I had a little bit of a hard time hearing what kind of an E it's like. It's like a major 7, you can add a 9, you can even make it a flat 5, a major 13, I'm kind of having a hard time hearing what's going on, but I know it's an E, 
and there's definitely a major seven in there. Um, then it goes just to the E flat. Add a seven, you get a thirteen again. just like hit one note above it, you know, be like, it's an A, A flat, I'm sorry, so you hit an A, G, and you go back up to the A flat, I mean, you know what I mean, it's kind of cool, sticking the A flat, and then it goes back up to the D flat, just kind of screw around, again, it's just a 1-4 in the chorus, too, um, then he repeats again, and then goes back to the verse, he hit the... E flat, E and the E flat, and there again, right before the chorus, goes back to the chorus, and you're in A flat again. At the end of the chorus, I believe, is there a solo? No, false. At the end of the chorus, there, ah, okay, I'm sorry, there, there is a solo. At the end of the chorus, though, you're in your, you're in your D flat 13, and also you go to a B, B, thir B flat 13, it's like, oh, that's epic. It just, the entire song is transposed up two from there. So instead of your A flat, you got B flats. Flat, and then you got E flat, of course. Oh, I just lost myself. Anyways, um, and then again, you just repeat, and you're in B flat. If he, I don't remember in the song if he does that. You know what I mean? Like to there. If he does, then it would be an F at that point. To an E, um, I can't remember. If he does oh, I'm sorry. That's his false. It'd be an F sharp. You know what? I do remember an F sharp in there. He does. He hits the. And it goes back to B flat. Um, so yes, there is an F sharp in there because the trans song was transposed up two. <laughs> That's where I messed up last time. And then I tried again, and then the camera ran out of battery. Um, <laughs> so this is an F sharp, I said F last time, to an F. Then you go back to your B flat, and your B flat. At the end of the song, when he's just hitting some kind of like crazy notes, it's just like it's just like a flat five, the five and the eight, the, or the one, whatever. I just like... doing something like that, I don't know, it's kind of kind of funky, but I definitely hear these notes in there. Um, I mean, you can put it anywhere you want it, really. Um, and then when it goes to the E flat, it's... Which you might recognize. Recognize, because it's from... Um, he uses that all the time. <laughs> he uses his E flat, uh, especially in... Um, I get a kick out of you, it's the very intro. You look... Um, so you use it all the time. Again, it's just a flat five. You got a nine in there. You got a three there. You got a seven. And it just keeps going down. So that's that. You can even do that if you want to. Which is... Oh, that's the 13 with a... That's the 13 with a nine and a flat five. Again, but he just has a, hits the flat five in there. Then when he goes back to the B, and you hear this, it's, uh, it is this. Like that. And that is E flat, D flat, D, and you get G, E, and F. Then he just hits a B flat five, really, just B flat and F. And then up here you got a, which is, uh, it is a B flat 13 with a 9 and a flat 5. Or you could just be like, you could just hit that even. I think he hits this one. I don't know if it's which one of these, but I know he ends on a G. I can't remember which one it is. You could just do both. Or you can end on an F and totally not do what he does. <laughs> um, yeah, so, it's, you know. Yeah, that's it. He ends up this one. Pretty sure.
And then, so that's it. Um, pretty simple. Again, just one four structure. Really, just kind of dum 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 dum. I mean, super simple, with the occasional five or uh, what would that even be? It's like the, the augmented fifth. It's um, hang on. I guess it's a sixth if you're in minor, but you're not in a minor. Cause if it's a sixth, it's like a lot of times if you're in a major. If you're in C major, your six is a lot of times an A minor. So I don't know what. That Total mind blank. Um, yeah, so anyways, yeah, super simple song, a lot of fun to play. And, um, yeah, so, uh, that's so they say by, uh, Jimmy Cullen.